hello everyone welcome to the channel i am very excited to share with you this brand new text to image model called as cogview 3 plus 3 billion it is not only a small text to image model but also the quality is supreme we will be installing it locally and then we will generating images from text to see how it performs just to give you an idea how good the quality is look at these images these all have been generated by this cog view 3 plus 3 billion parameter model with simply just text prompts now let's try to get this installed and before that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that extracts data from web pages quickly easily and at a scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is quite robust and it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will drop the link to their website in video's description let's go back to this cog view 3 plus and try to see what exactly this model is so this is the first text to image model in the framework of relay diffusion relay diffusion in simple words refers to a multi-stage diffusion generation framework it first generates low resolution images using standard diffusion and subsequently performs super resolution the super resolution stage of the original cascaded diffusion conditions on low resolution images and that is what relay diffusion models are so and diffusion models are simply the models which take a uh, text prompt or image and then they add the noise and then they denoise it from in the latent space and then gives you a pixelated image and i have done various videos on that architecture too please search the channel by the way I am a huge fan of these COG models. If you have been following my channel, you know that I already have covered this COG, COG Video X 5 billion, 2 billion, which is a text to video model, really good quality. So please check it out. I also have done a video as how to install it on Comfy UI. So um, just search with COG and you should be able to find these videos. Okay, enough talk. Let's go to my terminal and then we will get it installing you can see that i am running one 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram courtesy mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video and if you're also looking to rent a gpu i will drop the link to their website with a 50 percent discount coupon code so also check them out so let's clear the screen and then okay sorry not this one okay let me create a virtual environment and then we will start cracking on it so we are now going to install this and see how it works so first up i'm installing this conda environment so let's wait for it to get installed and activated and that should be done any second now that's done let's install the prerequisites make sure that you install this transformer accelerate and diffuser like i am doing from git from the source because it is quite new and these commands are going to take three to four minutes so let's wait for it all the prerequisites are done now next up let's launch our jupyter notebook and we will download and install the model in it and the notebook is launched next up let's import the libraries which we have installed and then through hugging face pipeline I am download, downloading this model, putting it to the CUDA. Now here is the thing, if you have a lower GPU, like you have 4, 8 GB VRAM, 16 GB VRAM, then you can enable this CPU. I offload with this pipe uh, command and this is all you need to run and then it is going to uh, reduce your GPU memory usage. So let me run it. And you can see that it is now downloading the model. There are four shards of it. So let's wait for it to finish. And you can see that whenever we have this vision model, which is text to image models, not only we need to download the actual model, but also the VAE model or the component of it. VAE stands for variational autoencoder. 
that converts the image from latent space to pixel space so latent space is which is abstract fake space where the image is actually created through diffusion process where noise is added and then gradually the denoising process occurs i already have done quite a few videos on this latent one so if you are interested just search with latent and you should be able to find a lot of videos around what is latent space and why noise and denoise happens in latent images in that stable diffusion models okay let's go back and almost there let's wait for it i'm just going to double check yep it's still running so model is downloaded let's do the inference now or let's generate the image from this text prompt let me make it a bit on the screen so you see that i am doing the inference here there are so this is a prompt where is it is says a vibrant cherry red sports car sits proudly under the gleaming sun and then all that stuff and then we are giving it some of the hyper parameters and then generating the image in this uh, width and height so this is the image size and then we are saving it and you can see that how quick that is let's wait for it to finish and it has created the image and hold your breath and look at this image look at the sleek red car this is mind-blowing look at the intricate details look at the tires the rim everything is so well formed look at the pavement and then behind the car look at the ocean because we were asking it to generate a coastal stuff and of course we can uh, fix it the, all the resolution and stuff but it has very very nicely followed this prompt very impressed by it okay let's try one more thing here so i am going to ask it okay let me uh, make it fit under the screen now in this one i am asking it budapest's mathias church stands majestically under a clear blue sky its gothic spires reaching towards the heavens the intricate patterned roof tiles in red orange and white along with the stone facade adorned with pointed arches and ornate windows reflecting the historical significance tied to hungary's uh, hungary's last king charles IV. so while it runs let's also see how much vram it is occupying it is just a rough estimate so as you can see it is uh, it is quite close to what i have so around for just over 47 gig of vram and you can offload it to cpu i have uh i'm using the whole gpu at the moment okay so let's wait for it to finish and it is just going taking around just over three minutes and it has generated the output let's have a look at there oh wow how cool is that you see look at the image look at the clarity vividness and crispness of this image these are real real manifestation and if you closely look at the arches they are very very well formed of course there are slight uh, i would say here and there there is some malformation but if you're using some tool like comfy ui you can of course set some negative prompts and play around with the noise and stuff another parameter like cfg to make it more intricate but look at this orange and black intricate pattern this is out of this world okay let's draw a few more it takes around uh, more than three and a half minutes to generate one but that is fine next up i'm asking it to generate a photo of maple leaf made of water let's see what it does here so you see the inference time is around four minutes so let's wait for it to finish and i'll show you and it has generated the image let's have a look there so it's a maple leaf and it's made out of water you see there is a bit of a fluidness to it very interesting and all the architect uh, intricate patterns are nice okay so let's try out another one so for this one i am asking it a fish eye lens a view of a turtle sitting in a forest so let's wait for it again four minutes also you can see that i have disabled the cpu of late offload so everything is running on gpu and still it is taking four minutes so uh, remember if you would offload it to cpu it is going to take more time of course but 
if you have less vram then you can play around with this setting to see how much it offload to the cpu and it will depend upon your system config of course and it has produced a fisheye lens view so if i go down there you go you see how good the prompt adherence is that it's a perfect fisheye lens view this is amazing this is beautiful look at the turtle look at the whole uh, intricate patterns of it look at the ground of the forest leaves and all that and debris this is really cool and the trees are blurred just like we see it in the fisheye lens and the turtle is really really good stuff the whole shell is very well formed okay let's do a final one with a human figure now i'm sure you're gonna like it so in this one i'm asking it a stunning 20 uh at i'll run it meanwhile we read it so i'm asking it a stunning 25 year old blonde girl red lipstick blue pretty detailed eyes looking at camera lonely in australian outback high quality so let's wait for it to finish generating it and then we will call it a day and meanwhile it runs do me a favor and please subscribe to the channel and also share it among your network as it helps a lot okay so let's wait for it to generate this and if it is any good i will make it a youtube thumbnail how is that so it has generated the image and before i show you the image let the suspense hang in the air look at the prompt again so my focus is on blue pretty detailed eyes so i want the eyes to be detailed and then i also want some expressions of loneliness as you can see towards the end that lonely in australian outback so let's see if it has followed it or not so let me go down there you go blonde hair true wow look at the eyes so the eyes are blue very well formed both eyes are look the same and there is no artificiality it seems and then the expressions are of also loneliness red lipstick is there and the head is slightly i would say very very slightly uh, out of place in the neck but not bad i mean it's very very negligible because it's very very high resolution and then you can see the red soil of australian outback in the background with rugged terrain and then there is a makeup too which is cool and then if and another cool thing is that the sun is on her right hand side and you can see the glow on the right side of the face and then there is a uh, you know clothing is also very good very casual and then hair are on this side of the shoulder which is great and everything looks so good i think i'm going to make it the youtube thumbnail for this video anyway i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this model very very impressed by the way and the images which we saw here i think it really does what it says in the paper and on the model card and i will drop the link to it in video's description anyway play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content as i said earlier please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and i'll be very grateful thank you for all the support and watching